Hey guys, welcome again. Today I'll be running you through one of my latest pickups as well. It's my 5000 SWB Stella. So this is the new Stella. Um, I've got the old one, really, really liked it. So I thought I'd pick up a new one while it was on sale. As you can see there, I labeled it. So we'll get into it. The box to start with, nice to open up. All your information and warranty and all that, all on top. Let's put that to the side. Now, you get to the uh, your neoprene case underneath. It's nice that all these reels are coming in neoprene cases now. In the box as well, you get a braid retention strap, some spacer washers, and some Shimano oil. So we'll put that to the side for now. So getting into the reel, it's got 15 bearings, one anti-reverse and 14 normal. So the Stellar I've chosen has a 5.7 to 1 gear ratio and pumps 13 kilos of drag, weighing in at just 435 grams. And then you've got a retrieve rate of 85 to 90 centimeters and um, they don't have an accurate representation so I'm just going off some information I've picked up from a few sites. Now of 30 pound which I'll be running on it, it can hold around 200 meters so I'm sure if I get some really nice 30 pound I can cut that back and I can get 250 meters of 30 pound on it. So the main features on the Stella are your X-Ship which um, Gives it really good cranking power. It's a really, really fine cut gearing. It's, um, you know, helps with the support of all the other bits and pieces inside. Um, you've got the X Tough drag, which I'll put an inlay of that. It's um, some stacked wave washers, which clamp down a lot better than a spring. But underneath as well, you've got a carbon drag under there, as well as a primary drag on top. So I, I much like this design a bit better in the spool. Um, as you can see, it's also got your X shield and X protect, which are gaskets and seals on the bearings and working parts of the reel, which is really, really nice. The bearings in the Stellas are really, really good quality. Like you see why just the handle there, spins for quite some time, so. If that's any representation of the bearings and the rest of the reel, then we're going well. It's got an X rigid rotor, um, so the, there, there is no movement in the rotor. Like every other reel, you've got a little bit of movement in that rotor. You cannot, you cannot move that at all. It's fantastic. Um, it just helps, you know, make the whole body rigid and strengthens the whole reel up. Uh, really, really nice. Um, so the final feature that I like about this reel in particular is just the anti-reverse is instantaneous the whole way through. It is fantastic. Um, Quality-wise, it feels better in your hand. Once again, made in Japan reel it better. You're paying the money for it. The things I don't like are this bale wire. If you can see in there, it's got plenty of room in that little groove there for salt water to collect. Um, you can wash it as much as you want. It just happens from time to time that stuff gets caught in there. Same with along the lip of the spool there. There are a couple of things I don't like in their design, which I prefer in the Saltiga design, which I would have shown you already. Um, handle wise, once again, a good screw and handle. However, unlike the Saltiga, you're screwing a pin into the gearing rather than a pin coming out of the gearing that you screw your handle into. So Shimano back this sucker with a 10 year warranty, which is uh, really, really good. Now I'm going to be using this reel mainly for casting metal slugs for mackerel, uh, bit of bottom bashing, bit of micro jigging coming into winter. I thought I'd pick one up while the BCF had the 20% off. So I thought, well, let's give it a go. Um, yeah, I'll let you know how it all goes. But for now, it's a really, really nice reel. I'm really happy that I picked it up. Cheers for watching.